Hi, I'm Kev from SonsOfCane.com. On this video, we're going to do something that's uh, film referenced. Close Encounters of the Cane Kind. As usual, I've got Chris with me. Hi, big guy. You just can't live without me. What we're going to do is progress on from our previous drill and show you how to do striking and countering from that position. I'd also like to thank Blue Man 8, for those of you who may have noticed, from a couple of videos, we actually got sent a genuine old school police truncheon or cosh. Uh, we have chatted to some policemen about these and most of them can't remember ever having one of these. They either remember the side handle button or somebody lent us an asp. So these are really old school. Trouble with this is you pick it up and my first instinct is to hit Kev with it. I don't know why. He's just got one of those faces. As Kev is always reminding me, please share, please care, and please subscribe. So on the last video, we talked about close in covering. What we're going to do now is close encounters of the cane kind, where we're going to strike back. We're going to take this slow again, just as a drill. The dad's going to throw a punch, so I've covered. I don't want these repeated punches, so I'm then looking for the opportunity to strike him. So from here, I can just extend out, I can do my raking motions and go through. What I'm not doing is these big, expansive motions. So as he comes in, I'm, because it's a punch, I can block with my elbow, I can follow through with my crook, drag strikes, and I'm here. This is where your bayonet strikes and pokes come into their own, because they're very good for tight in spaces your crook strikes, your close in figure of eight drill, you've got these uppercuts, down and up. What we don't want is big motion, you might have something there. He comes in for a straight punch as well, I've blocked, I'm there straight away, I'm, this is going straight for his throat. From there, I can come up and then I've got traps and here. All very tight, all very close in. From this side, I've blocked, nothing's changed. He's left his groin exposed, so we can do the knock on and our double taps with the cane. He comes in for an uppercut, nice and easy, I'm dropping, I'm sweeping that away, he's exposed. I've got all these techniques that I know he doesn't like. He comes from the other side, I'm down, this is going to lend itself in, this will be very nice for a double tap on there, and I can bring it up, dragging, striking. It's not about what strike you use, it's about keeping yourself covered, protected and practicing these very short striking techniques. Later we'll freestyle it, so I won't know what the attack is. We will have body armour on, head guards on and gloves and give it a little bit more realism. OK, look at the same blocking and countering in a chair. The height difference is immediately obvious. So Chris shows the punch. So this is the environment that I've got here. I don't want anything on the outside. So again, I'm splitting the cane up to there. Right, it's in against my leg. It's nice and tight in. I can push through if I want to. This is where I turn to do the sticky cane and hit across. Clavicle's nice area. Bridge of the nose. Gonna send them away with a bloody nose. And as you know, hit on the nose. Nose bleeds, eyes sort of uh, water all the time fight over. And again on the other side, it comes in there, again I've got full range, I can either deflect through and over, which gives me nice kidney shots, floating ribs, heart one, axilla, just for you Bill, goes up under there and hits. Now the second punch is kind of the same, the, the same really, it's just going to come on a different line. So I've got that upper block which we've shown. If I was standing and able bodied, you're able to push it over and pull through, but we're, we're different. We haven't got that range of motion to do. So all I'm going to do is angle slightly, he's still pushing, and again, I've got the throw. I've got the chin, nose, or third eye, which are quite good. If you are lucky, and he's caught you by surprise, and the punch comes in, and you've managed to block this way, I love coming over the cane, into the neck, Pulling through. Upper punches. 
Why anyone would upper punch me, I've got no idea, because they're more likely, as Chris has done before, please see our previous works, punch me in the knee. So all I'm doing is giving distance. You know, can you hit me? No. And if you go forward, what did you do? Yeah, straight into the stone. The cage braced to the side. My elbow's in, although it's resting on the, the side of the chair, I've just literally made an impenetrable object that he now has to force himself through. And then up. And while he's messing about, as soon as he's in this position, flip over, bit of sticky cane, love it. This is not the be or end all. This is just an idea. Whatever we teach, it's just to spark that little bit of imagination in you. Take it away, play with it, have fun, develop it, send us a video. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it gives you a little bit to think about, uh, changing little distances, getting close in on what you're going to do with different weapons. Please give us a like, write us a comment, send us a question, and we'll get through to try and make some videos for you. As always, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget, sharing is caring. Hit the notification button. <laughs> Free the fear. <laughs>